Welcome to the Terrible Chef. Um, this is my first time, so we'll give this a shot. Today we are making Scott's chicken because it's my favorite food. So come, let's have a look. I've got a little over a pound of organic chicken breast. very well thawed and for only two chicken breasts I just use one can so this is cream of chicken soup or you can use cream of mushroom what I really like about this recipe is that it scales up really well so if I had a third chicken breast or a fourth um, you can just use another can of this, or you can cut it with water. The original recipe says for a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of water. I just don't prefer it that way. I'm just scoop this out and try to make sure that all the chicken breasts are covered. And if the breasts are not completely thawed all the way through, sometimes I'll take a knife and sort of slit them down the middle. Uh, my wife likes her chicken cooked all the way through with no moisture in the middle. I like mine a little more tender. So sometimes I will slit hers so that way uh, we make sure that it bakes all the way through. And then we've got a package of stovetop stuffing, the chicken flavor. And just spread that out so it's even. set the oven for 350 and when that comes up to temperature I put it in depending upon the stove uh, 50 to 55 minutes uh, our, our old electric stove it was 50 minutes this is a gas stove and it seems to be about 55 minutes now for the finishing you can do one of two things you can either put it on a bed of rice uh, which is the traditional or if you don't, not into rice. Um, I love Grand's Biscuits, which also cook at 350. So I'll set a timer for 35 minutes from when I put it in and put these on a tray right underneath them so that way they, everything comes out at the same time. And there you go. That is Scott's Chicken. All right, here we are at 55 minutes. And let's see how she did. good. No pink. Turn the oven off. Now take my rice, which I made at 10 minutes. Lay down a little bed. And there you go. 